So I got a real interesting question from somebody whose handle on YouTube is New Bounce. And his question had to do with the measurements. I talk about in the setup, getting the proper measurements. And then he was a little, it wasn't clear to him about, well, the impact position, your hips are open a bit, your shoulders are open a bit. Doesn't that change your measurement? Doesn't that require more side bend uh, when you come down into the ball? Um, it doesn't. What, me, what we mean by, or what I mean by measurement, and you wanna maintain the proper measurements throughout the whole swing. Our primary measurement is our swing circle center, which is the base of our neck, where the spine and the neck, uh, well, basically where the, the spine and the shoulders meet. It's right at the base of the neck, okay? We want that measurement from the base of the neck to the ball to remain constant throughout the entire swing. When we go back into our back swing, it doesn't move. When we come down into our forward swing, it doesn't move. So his questions were his question was with this shoulder coming up and the, the hips being open and the shoulders being open, don't you have to bend down further to reach the ball? Magically, no, you don't. It it's it may seem a bit confusing because you know you, you're standing like this at a dress and then at impact you're standing like that with the open shoulders and stuff. Didn't this just create more distance there? Well, what's happening here is when we're at a dress and our swing circle center is right here, as we start our backswing, we actually shorten the left side and raise the right side, all right? and we're able to maintain that same distance of the base of our neck to the ball. Conversely, when we come through, we are shortening our right side without changing that distance. If you look where the base of my neck is, right? When you go into the back swing, we're staying right there. When you go into the forward swing, it's staying right there. What's happening, what's allowing you to reach the ball, and I really should put a ball down for this, Apologize. What's allowing you to reach the ball is your shoulders tilt. Now, if your shoulders were, if you were swinging with horizontal shoulders, that's going to cause a problem. But what's happening here is as this shoulder raises high, this one stays low, goes low. And then when you come back through, they switch positions and you're still, you can see, I can still reach with very open shoulders. I can still reach that ball without any problem, without having to stretch or anything. Um, additionally, you have centrifugal, centrifugal force that will actually, you know, ever so slightly stretch your arms and your shoulders. But that's not what's happening here. The primary measurement that we're trying to keep is not the measurement of our arms to the ball. We're using our arms at setup to get to the ball to establish our swing circle center measurement down to the ball. So it's not that we're trying to maintain the same distance with specific, specifically our, our lead arm or our trail arm. It's this spot right here that we want to keep the same. So we go into the back swing, it stays the same. We come into the forward swing. It doesn't dip down, doesn't go up. It remains the same. Let me show you from this angle. We go into the back swing, come into the forward swing. It never changes. And we'll do this from this angle. Hopefully I won't take out my wife's plant there. So we go into the back swing and then we come down into impact. That's the measurement that we're focusing on, okay? So I hope that clears that up for you. Please keep the questions coming. I love the questions. I love you guys interacting, and I love all your comments. Thanks so much for watching my videos, and I'll see you in the next video.